Hey friends, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about the full moon in Pisces that's happening on September 10th. You'll notice that the cards are already laid out it's because I did start this video and then realize my microphone wasn't turned on. So, I was about halfway through the reading, which means that this particular video will go a little bit quicker than the rest of them, and I know some of y'all will be glad for that. Uh, for the rest of you, just know that there is a like 1.5x or 2x option in YouTube if you think that I talk too slow or you just don't have enough time in the day, which I understand, to get through the whole videos. Okay, let's start from the top. Pisces rules the 12th house. The 12th house of my favorite name for it is Secrets. The 12th house of Secrets. It's a pretty intense house. It's also everything that is unconscious or hidden. It is our desires. At the same time, it is our fears. It is um, our dreams. And so I thought it was only right to bring out back the Viator Somnurum Oracle deck. It's a dream deck based on it's an oracle deck based on dream imagery by Stephanie Alia. And it was illustrated by Daniela Ife. Efe. Way to go, you all, because this deck rocks my literal socks off. So we got from this deck prophecy, loss, and fear. Actually, it was in this order. The message of this is pretty straightforward if you look at fear and loss especially. Fear is fear-based thinking. There's really no other allusion to that. That's very Piscean. And loss in reverse is actually suggesting that something which has been, we think has been lost is actually not lost. So there's a message here about salvaging something. And I believe it's referring to this prophecy in reverse. Prophecy, just as the word... Um, suggests is something that is meant to be, somebody that you are meant to be, a situation that is meant to be. And when it's showing up in the reverse, it means that something has not yet um, formulated. Form formulated, has not formed, has not, it has not come to be. Um, prophecy is about trust as well, like it's about trusting that things will work out, knowing when something is meant to be, there is a, you, we put a lot of faith into that kind of notion. That notion doesn't exist without a tremendous amount of trust and faith. So is this um, faith that's being reclaimed? Is this your trust that's being reclaimed? Is that what's getting us away from fear-based thinking? I think that looking into the tarot will, will actually say what, what that's really about. For the Smith Way tarot deck, I went back to the OG. Um, this was my first deck. It's just a really standard Rider Waite Smith tarot deck. I had realized that I have a lot of decks now. And there is a time for exploring new decks for my own learning and study, which is, has been my focus for a long time. But recently I decided that I would like to work with my, what I think is my most powerful deck, which is the one that I have the longest relationship with, the one that I know how it speaks the best, and one that I also believe is most accurate. So that's what we're dealing with. That's what we're using today because we're dealing with the Pi full moon in Pisces in the 12th house. It's some intense stuff. So now we'll just get into it. I know that they're already dealt, but I'll just read them off to you. We have the Page of Pentacles in reverse, the Three of Cups in reverse, the Three of Swords in reverse, Ten of Swords, Two of Pentacles in reverse, Nine of Swords. The Fool in reverse, Seven of Pentacles in reverse, and the Hanged Man in reverse. The first thing that I'm noticing is that this Two of Pentacles in the center is in reverse, so this, this might have to do with not taking action or not being able to sustain something. 
um, and then it was and then it had to be let go so this might be the seven of Pentacles here might be referring to the loss of this there was I think good intentions about starting something new in the recent past um, but it was maybe too soon I'm, there's some naivety here um, in terms of like what has been possible in a sustainable manner now feels like it has been lost um, this feels almost like a false start the nine of swords here is sort of an invitation I think to look at your concerns and worries around this loss and to pull yourself out of fear-based thinking by learning what it is you are capable of. This might be a capacity thing. This might be learning about a new capacity that you have or a new limit that you have. I feel like this is, you tried something, you tried something new for the first time and it sort of didn't work out exactly <laughs> as you had hoped. Um, even though it seemed like this was going to be a brand new beginning for you that was going to lead to a new kind of life, I feel like what actually happened was there wasn't enough um, information that would guarantee your success uh, but at the same time it got you out of a toxic as uh, some other toxic situation or some other situation that wasn't actually good for you so it it's almost like whatever opportunity you had faced here in the recent past this full moon in Pisces might be showing you how it wasn't meant to deliver you um, a plus abundance like results I think what the what this Pisces full moon is actually wanting to show us is how it's taking us away from things that aren't working they're not synonymous so I, I just I guess in my mind it makes sense but I'm gonna clarify just in case I did not make myself sound clear we're dealing with two situations right now. You were successful in removing yourself from a harmful situation, although it appears that you have not been successful in whatever you were doing to get yourself out of that other situation. So, for example, if you are baking cookies to get out of doing laundry, Okay, I'll say that again. If you were baking cookies to get yourself, to get some distance between you and doing laundry, you were successful in not doing your laundry, but you did not bake the best cookies. Does that make sense? Okay. I feel like this can say a lot about our subconscious. So now how our subconscious starts to work to say that uh, there's deep healing going on, but also there is, you know, some sort of paradigm shift here. And there's also, so there's perceived loss, whatever is in the bounds of situation A and B for you personally. There's, we, we have to process loss and grief in that which is no longer around, even if it was harmful for us. It's like moving into the past. An epoch of life is moving on. We have to grieve all of those things. And then next, <laughs> our subconscious will also, um, in our minds, will say that, well, we didn't produce the best cookies, so we suck. Clearly, I'm not cut out to make cookies. I don't think that's true either. I think that the full moon in Pisces is really just highlighting all of these things because everything is, in fact, connected. And your healing with your, your healing and coming out of grief, grief, your rejuvenation 
is intertwined with that which we worry over constantly. So the hangman is here to say one step forward, two steps back, and such is the way of life. I'm going to pull just a few more cards as advice. We have Judgment, the Ten of Wands, and the Four of Swords. Um, advice for this weekend? I'll say simply is to work on becoming self-aware, work on becoming aware of when you are working too hard. Is it compensation for something? Are you avoiding looking at the things that stress you out? Are you not delegating things that should be none of your concern in the first place? Are you a fixer? Are you a pleaser? Mm. Any and all of our tendencies will be revealed because also Mercury retrograde is happening. Well, it's happening is a, it's just a statement. What I meant to say, it's stationing retrograde um, on the 9th, basically at the same time as this full moon. And so Mercury retrograde will really um, shake things up a little bit um, in terms of our mental capacities and it will help us to reprioritize what's really important. Uh, that message is loud and clear for me. I'm definitely going to spend some time in meditation this weekend. Alright, thanks for watching, thanks for being here, and I'll see you on next week's video.